Hey guys, Brodo here, welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are back for another episode. Where we're obviously in our new boat, the Lenore. Uh, we're going to do some net fishing today, hopefully. Um, I've just caught, so kind of come northwest up on the map, all the way up to here, just to see if we can find any fish in this area. Now, will it be too deep? Maybe. I don't know. So let's just sort of head. 5k's along this way. Um, we'll keep an eye on our radar. Uh, there's some fish there. I'd like to see a little more than that though. There's like lots of tuna. I don't think there's much else. How, does it tell us how deep it is? There's some swordfish. I think that shows us how far we're going to look ahead or sort of ahead and behind and this is showing us how deep it is 125 meters so um, where's oh, no net hauling there's no like setting or anything I will bring um, him out he can prepare the gear so we go there's some redfish there there's going to be more though, that's sort of what I'm looking for at the moment. I'll prepare the gear, there we go. Oh, I think that's cod again down there, some snow crab. Come on, there's some redfish and stuff back here. Let's throw one out here, we'll see how we go. Alright, we're setting the net. Try and keep this in the middle. It's quite a slow sort of drive though, isn't it? We can I fast? Oh, we can only do five knots. Just set it out there. I don't know how long it's going to take us to set it, but it's quite a long net. There's definitely some fish down in here, as you can see. There's some more fish here, some more fish here, so it's not a bad spot to set it, actually. It's just taken forever. Now, how many nets do we have? Ten? I think we had ten. Once this one's set, we might just set five and then wait. Oh, maybe we had 11. Alright, so prepare another one. Uh, yeah, prepare. That would be that would be nice. Why are you not preparing the net? But you go and rest and you come out and prepare the net. Let's see how we go. She'll stop there, let's go prepare. Maybe it's already prepared. Um, it's like some tuna and stuff. Swordfish. There are some fish in the area, but... I don't know, let's just set it anyway and we'll see what happens. Don't want to set them too close together. Maybe, see so this one set it... 4.1 kilometers from our target. There's some redfish there, so. See how that goes. Oh, we can actually set from in here too, which is good. So we can sort of know that they're setting properly. So, how far away are those guys? It's hard to see how far away they are, but we leave a decent amount between each one we should be all right so there's some redfish here so we might catch some redfish if we're lucky right can i remove the hard no it still shows that bit of a bummer still showing that but right some more fish here as well redfish swordfish 
can't remember what that is. So that's 3.9 kilometres. Might go to, I don't know, maybe 3.5 kilometres. Depending on how long it takes us, and we'll throw out another net and see what happens. I don't want to set them too close. I definitely want to head up here to this little island over here we can see in the distance. Alright, some more redfish. Maybe we should just see it when we see set it when we see another fish. How's our boat? 99%. How about you come out and repair? We'll give you something to do. Come on boat, let's go. Uh, oh, so that looks like cod, but we shouldn't be getting cod this time of year. What's that look like cod? That sort of looks like cod to me, but I'm not quite sure. It does take quite a while to set the nets though, doesn't it? Do go for quite some length as well, 165 metres, they're the biggest ones we could get, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see how this pays off for us. As I said, I think we might set five. That's three and then there's eight. I didn't think I had 11. 11 kind of doesn't make much sense to me. So at least wait till we hit about 3.2 kilometers away from our target. Then we'll try and set, set down our net again. Um, it's hard to see because they're facing backwards. From what we're seeing here, the fish are the wrong way. That, no, I think that still looks like a tuna. I think. Alright, so we've still got some swordfish. I think that's still tuna there. Need to try and find some other fish now, but this doesn't seem like there's much in the area. Oh, there we go, there's one, it's not a swordfish, I don't think. No, it's definitely not a swordfish. It's hard to see what they are. I think it's a mackerel. Mackerel? Or... It's gone now. It could be. That looks like the silver hake. There. The mackerel there. Right, so that's our fourth net. So we'll throw down five and just... Yeah, see what happens. Love this boat though, this boat does look pretty cool. It's only another little one, but... Right, you should be just idle again. Let's go back to resting for you. Did that one there... Oh, that could be Haddock actually. Yeah, I think that looks like Haddock to me. We shouldn't be getting cod this time of year, I don't think. I have done the... Um, done the little Excel spreadsheet that I was talking about, so I'll see if I can quickly bring that up on the other screen. Right, let's keep going. Uh, where are we? We're in August, aren't we? So August, the only thing we should be catching is swordfish, tuna, haddock, bollock, redfish, mackerel, and silver hake. So there's plenty to catch. We should be getting cod, snow crab, or lobster at this point in time. But there's plenty of redfish and stuff here at the moment. Redfish there. Uh, let's have a look. Let's go some redfish. Go... Bollock and Silver Harke. I know there's definitely some here. I don't know how much though. See, like that. See how there's a few on the screen? The same thing. I think that probably is going to mean it's like a high, 
high area for fish. Right, we'll keep going and see when something else pops up down here. Right, redfish, let's throw it out again. Smear, so we got. I don't think she really needs the work lights, does she? After all, it's like midday. Yeah, so it looks like redfish. Some pollock or haddock again. Doesn't seem like it's too bad a spot. You seen two, I know they're not the same fish, but two fish in the same spot is probably not too bad. Plenty of smoke blowing out of our engine there. Wonder if that's, um, I don't know if it's water or if it's from the exhaust. get this line done and then we'll fast travel up to the next sort of town up here see what town it is and see what they've got available I want to do a full list of um, what boats are at what area to right let's go get out of here so we'll head let's go to here and like straight into there so we might actually something up here. There we go. Grand Manan Island discovered. Right, keep going. And Ingle's head discovered. Alright, so we'll go in here and see what these guys have got available. You might as well go back to resting. Um, still at six gear on the boat. Five in the water, so it's like we've missed something. Oh, that boat is flying. Fishing gear, by nets. Number of 12. How come? I'm sure we've got... I'm sure I brought 12. I don't know. Okay, fish prices, fishing gear. No, I don't need anything from the shop. Town. Let's go to the bar. Missions. Oh, port delivery. There's no tips here at the moment. Uh, dock. Dock. Maintenance will definitely rebuy us some fuel. I don't think. Oh, no, we can't change the actual colour of the boat. Doesn't matter too much, I guess. Um, shipyard, what do they have here? Available. They have the Knots Gully, which I think we've seen this one before, haven't we? Lobster boat. Yeah, we've seen this one before. Oh, it's gully. That'll be good for lobster when it's lobster season, which is April to July. So we're going to have to wait a little while for that. Right, let's, um... I wonder if... Can we actually go up and in through here? Can't zoom out too far. I'd like to see how long they've been in the water for. Three hours, so we've got a little bit of time. Let's go for a bit of a of an adventure through here and see if we can see anything fast and stuff over there but where do you go cars just not sure if we're going to find anything up on the map when there's another bus guess we could probably um Use our binoculars. Have a bit of a look. If we can't see any other boats like sort of laying around, which I can't see, so definitely I don't think there'll be anything in here for us to actually um, unlock. So let's come. So let's just fast travel to there. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Uh, let's go around this island. Nothing there at the moment. I don't know if I upgraded my radar enough though. Okay, sneak through here, see if we can find some other boats or anything. Alright, get rid of that one. 
Oh, oh. That's interesting. It's like, um, where they're breeding tuna and stuff out here, or the fish breeding area. It's pretty cool. Let's move that back. Okay, oh. Can you let me move? Oh. Won't let me move it. Let's try not to hit anything. Something a little bit different. It's pretty cool. Good fast travel now. There we go. Can't see anything there. No, nothing there. No, this is just using a lot of fuel, but it'd be good to travel the whole way around this island. Just make sure there's nothing that we could be picking up. There we go. For Vicky Catherine. Ingle's head, so that's where we just were, wasn't it? Alright, there we go. Make sure we're not missing anything. Alright, go around there. How far are these? Yeah, seven hours, so we've still got a little bit of time. I think about 16 hours or so would be ideal time. No, doesn't look like there's anything in there. Go back to Ingle's head. Um, come in and have a look at the... the Becky Catherine. Spacious, comfortable 15 metre boat with a quota worthy of its size, suitable for long light and net fishing. I'm sure we've had that before. It's a boat we've used before in um, Barrent Sea. Alright, let's um, head back out of here, I guess. I think, where's the next spot up here? We might head there after we come down and look at reeling these nets in. So we'll keep an eye on um, eye on these guys. So 10 hours, 11 hours. Alright. Um, we could probably save our career again. Go back to save number one. There's another update again today which has stopped us from losing our crew members upon loading and also um, crashing when we're actually fast traveling and stuff, which has helped. Alright, so our time. So it was 11 hours, so let's go forward six hours. Dump. Have a look at our map. They've just gone green. I think it's when they're blue, isn't it? So let's go forward another two hours. Uh, green again. I think that's what it's meant to be. Let's see if we find out in the wiki. Um, net fishing. Okay, blue's the best result. Okay, definitely. Alright, let's head towards it. And I guess we'll see... See what's going to happen. Let's have a look at our searchlight. Not the best quality searchlight, but. Alright, so we should be alright there. 18 hours or so. Just gone blue, so let's get uh, Pearl and Emma out here to haul these nets in. And we'll um, see what happens. What's the time? At the moment, it's 6 o'clock in the morning and it's still dark. Let's slow down a little bit so we don't shoot past it. Oh, wrong button. I want to zoom in a little bit. That's probably the perfect view there. So we've got 20,000 capacity on the boat. So we'll see how many these five nets actually gets us. Alright, there we go. So they'll haul it in. Let's have a bit of a look and see. See how they're going. Alright, looks like um, we could probably cut this and go. Hey, we'll come out here and have a look. What's going on here? Got some fish 
definitely coming aboard. There's a cod there. Some redfish. Another big cod. Another redfish. So we're doing alright, aren't we girls? Doing alright, I think. I don't know what is that mackerel or is that something else? Okay, so just go and have a look. Six oh that's six thousand kilos. Is that a good amount though? Okay, so So let's stop the boat for a second. Let's have a look at what we actually caught. So cod, redfish, haddock and pollock. Silver Haki as well. 246 cod. So that's a pretty good spot. So redfish, go uh, cod. What else do we have? Haddock and Pollock. Haddock and Pollock. And then we can sort of check these ones as well. And we can just say that's the, like the string was from here to here see what actually you know comes up wish they're a little bit smaller on the map though they're quite big on the map but we'll head towards our next one but that that's not too bad that's yeah we've only got what another two more nets full so I don't know how we're gonna go if we're gonna have put too many lines out already Be a little bit of bummer if we have, I think. So we could have got away with maybe three lines, maybe four lines tops. So I'll come up on this next one. I'm not going very quick, but I don't want to fast travel if we can avoid it. So our boy is just here, I can just see it. We go zoom right in with our binoculars, hopefully, not making you guys sick. Just there, just ahead. The girls should be out there ready to go. Hopefully pretty excited. It's just going to depend on how much these things are worth to sell. I don't think we can get a bigger hold on this boat either. I think we did upgrade it completely. So what are they... I can't see what they're at at the moment. Uh, 18 hours, yeah, 19 hours, so 18 hours is pretty much ideal by the looks of it. Right, let's slow down a little bit. The girls will reel that in again, let's go and have a bit of a look. I don't know what left mouse button catch means because we can't actually catch anything. That was me pressing the button. Whoops. But, uh, sorry girls, I'll go back inside and I'll just be the boss. Well, that's a bummer. Ooh, so it's, at th the net's at 37%. I wonder if that was because of me then. Um, let's just fast travel just to get there a little bit quicker. I think that was me. Um, that is a bit of a bummer. I might do a bit of hand gunning by myself. We'll see how that works. And um, maybe even get the girls to do it after I've had a bit of a go just to see see how it works. I think it's still similar to Baron C style. I don't think they've changed it too much. Right, our third net. I'm not going to press a thing this time. I will go out and have a look, but I'm not going to press the button. It says left mouse catch, and then it lights up. So I don't know, don't know why it's giving us the option for it to to happen. I might get another screenshot soon when this just disappears. So 
over here we can grab that. I think that's the damaged one, isn't it? it? Seems like we're getting a decent amount of fish. It's taken a while. Net too damaged to use. Net hauling not fully completed. So that wasn't me. It was you. They did it. I think it was them. Okay, um... We did still catch a decent amount, but the net was damaged again. So there's two nets that are completely damaged. I guess it could be because they're, um... Their skills? Where's our net hauling there? She's pretty low. She's pretty low as well, but... I mean, they'll get better eventually. Can't worry too much. Uh, let's head to the next one. Seems like a decent area though, like it's quite... Is it quite deep? Look at the map. Because um, it's not as deep as obviously all the way out here. But... It's hard to see the exact colour. 150 metres deep maybe? Look at our radar. It's giving us about 100 metres deep. So not too bad. Uh, no gutting yet. All storage. Three and a half thousand of redfish, three thousand of cod, nearly three thousand of haddock, and two and a half thousand of pollock. Not a lot of silver hake. Eh? But the redfish, there's heaps of redfish up here, and I think redfish is quite high as far as um, fish price goes. Oop, I went too fast. Come on, girls. Sorry, that's my fault. Right, let's go back and pick this up, hopefully. Come on, let's go backwards. Oh, they should be able to pick it up now. Maybe. It's literally right there. I mean, it's not on the starboard side of the boat. Or is it because I'm sort of... Look, I've got to turn left a bit. There we go. Because I was sort of facing into the net instead of... Yeah. Alright, so here we go. So what have we got left? Um, 6,500 left. I wonder if it's going to... Yeah, I wonder if we're going to be able to actually get the rest of that in. Oh, so 790 silver hake. So I've actually got plenty of silver hake, but they're just not very heavy. Alright, that's not too bad. Redfish, cod, haddock, pollock. Haddock, redfish, pollock. Let's go haddock. There's obviously cod here as well, but Throw them all on top of each other. Redfish, haddock, uh, cod, pollock, shulbahake. There we go. See how the girls go. Hopefully, they don't break this net this time. They're not doing a very good job. Hey, they didn't break it this time, but we've got not much left. <laughs> Uh, like 90 kilos of fish left, so four nets is pretty much good enough, I think. Potentially we could, um... Come on, we're not that close. We could potentially go and throw out, um... Four nets. Uh, wait, say, six hours, throw out another four nets. Wait six hours, throw out another four nets. Something along those lines, and just keep the 12 nets on the boat. We don't need to go back into the town or anything to actually put any bait on or anything so you know we shouldn't have to head back in we can just keep catching but it's all about the travel time I guess to travel from here back to wherever we are wherever we're gonna go and sell at it's gonna be probably the main issue the boat is quite slow now too because we're so full up 
times one. Zoom in a little bit closer and I'll show you guys what I was meaning about before. The arrow, the arrow needs to be there. If the arrow is not pointing the right way, you're not going to be able to catch it. Go. Okay. Now if I can come out of here. Can I come over and do I can do a bit of ish gutting. Still not 100% sure that silver hake, obviously. Cod, redfish, it's a pollock and haddock. I've always had trouble with working out what's what. It's got two fins on the top. Two fins on the top. Fish type. Let's have a look. Pollock, haddock. I guess you could look at their face. Its mouth is, or nose is in line with its eye where the haddock's down a bit further. So that's Sulahake. Sulahake. Ah. Uh, Olic, I think. Oh, look how much fish was lost. Well, that's a bummer. Right, let's do a bit of um, gutting. Let's start. So we start here. Follow the line and then finish. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful gutting. Oh, that's really bad. Yep, not so good. Still, you know, four stars, which isn't bad. We better than what the girls will do, but... Plenty to gut though. Right, let's exit and let's go back into here. Let's have a look at um, who's got the best hand gutting. Definitely Emma. Emma does. So Emma can go to hand gut. You can go to resting. Um, and now we can get ready to fast travel. So we want to go up here. And down into there. I want to have a look along here too. See if there's probably stuff in here we need to actually look at. If anything pops up on the map. Go. Digby Gut Lighthouse Discovered. Oh, she looks like she's finished gutting too actually. Or maybe not. Uh, don't think she's gutted anything. What are you doing? Ah, oh, she's tired. Maybe you can have a bit of a go. Otherwise, we're going to have to do it ourselves, aren't we? Oh, let's head in. That's probably a bad spot to stop. Go. How much has she done? I don't think she's done enough we're still gonna have heaps yeah there's still heaps unless they only gut while I'm driving oh, she's trying she's, she's getting in there and giving it a go uh, where's our phone does it tell you how much she's doing she's only doing like three kilos so she's not doing very good I mean good effort but I think I think I'll take over now just to get this finished Try and do it a little bit faster. At least we're not out, you know, like in a rough ocean or anything. That's, so that wasn't very good, but it still came across as five. It's taken us a while to get through it, though. only four. Well, that's going to be terrible. We started in a really bad spot. Oh, that's alright. I don't think it's quite as harsh as it was in um, Barren Sea. It may change upon full release. Obviously, guys, it's still early access at the moment. Um, recording this on the 15th Australian time, so still two days before full release. Alright, 
get all this gutted and we'll go and sell it and see how much money we've made. I don't think I can improve, I said, our hold. Let's see if we can get some more um, fish on board. The knife goes the whole way through the fish though. You can see it on the other side of the smaller fish. This big beautiful cod. More redfish. See this one, you watch the tip of the knife, it's all the way through the other side of the fish. Alright, there we go, everything's gutted. Let's jump back in the seat, shut the door because it's actually raining out there. Ah, uh, where do we need to go? To the right here, over to Digby. Alright, so if we look at our catch now, everything is gutted. Should be no fresh fish at all. But we gutted everything, unless we don't gut the silver hake. Most of it's five size. See, they even got threes and fours, so that's not too bad. Uh, all storage. Not too bad, but the boat is really struggling. Look at it. It's doing three and a half knots. Definitely going to have to upgrade this engine a little bit, I think. Come on, little Lenore. Okay, so what time of day is it? In the afternoon. So there's no chance of rain, but it's actually raining today. Plus tomorrow it's going to be quite rough. So what is that? I don't know what these lines are for. Does that mean it's rough at sea? Not sure. So 19.3 kilometres, 2.4 kilometres. Octas is the cloud, the knots is the wind, so I'm not sure what that actually is. Sell our fish at Digby. Yes, 83,000. So we didn't actually get a... Oh, wow. 83, uh, 320. That's a little bit lower. That's a bit higher. That's a little bit lower. That's really not very good money, is it? Wow. Not good money at all. Everything's kind of dropped. Maybe it's where we are. So it looks like there's a few other fish around. Um, we can go deep line fishing with this boat though, which we could probably look at. Um, let's go to the bar. Tips. Silver hard cable. Buy it. It's only a thousand dollars. I'm not going to worry about any missions at the moment. Uh, dock. We'll do some maintenance. We'll buy some fuel. Look at the shipyard. So we've got the no Yankee. So handles well in any seas. It's a lobster boat. Nine pots. Right, the Scarlet. Well-known crab boat called the Saga. Now that's the boat that I would want to buy. It's for snow crab fishing. 4.9 million. That's a beautiful boat. Definitely what I'd like to buy, because I do like being up in here and being able to see the guys work from up in here instead of having your cabin at the front and the guys working behind. Um, rigging, let's go with some deep wine fishing again. We'll buy that because I don't want to be... Uh, buy deep lines. Do 12 deep lines. Um, bait deep lines. I want to go, we want to go tuna fishing I guess, go tuna fishing again, um, let's look at our upgrades, storage, it's as high as we can go, uh, engine, it's as high as we can go, the radar, we'll get a better radar this time, autopilot, we'll put that on as well, fishing quota, plus 30%, I don't know what our quota is yet, uh, the sonar, Buy the better sonar, buy the better buoys, and the better searchlight. It all helps. It didn't cost us too much, but it's fully done. Alright, so let's um, get out of here. We'll end the episode here, guys. I'll head off and try and find somewhere to do some um, tuna fishing. We'll come back next episode, get stuck into some more deep line fishing, and um, I need my crew member. And, um, 
yeah, hopefully we can bring in some more money because that fish is just not very pricey at the moment. It's not worth a great deal. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far. If you want to see it continue, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.